Hello, this is the continuation of the last video which we had uh, done about API decorator. In this video also, we are going to cover about API decorator, one more functionality of API decorator, which is like making the child method public so that the parent from the parent component, we can call that child uh, component method. So that is what we are going to see in this video. So first of all, we will be understanding the code example, uh, like which we had taken in the previous video as well. I had made a little changes, some add-ons in that uh, uh, particular uh, like component which we have created in the last video. So I'll show you that first, and then we'll be then we'll be understanding the code, and uh, we'll be understanding how to call child component method from the parent component, and what exactly the role of API decorator in that. So let's see. First of all, I'll write here in this input box. You can see there is a component. This is the component I was talking about, which I have built in the last video. Here, hello is there, and I am clicking on set value. This is setting the value here. And now, when I'll click on this, this is the additional button here. These all three things like the input box, the set value function, and these two tag, these two child property one and child property two content was already there. I have added this call child method. When I'll click on this, this is going to clear the value of child property two. And that's why this will become like, this will get removed. This kind of text will get removed from the screen. So when I'll click on this, call child method, you can see it got removed. So you might be thinking this is a very simple thing, but here there is like, again, a difference. Like this particular button is going to call the parent method. And that parent method is going to call the child method. So that is the difference here. All are not hit there in the same component. The method is the actual method, which is doing this removing thing kind of thing is defined in the child component. So that is something which is different here. Different here. Now, like, uh, let me show you the code first here. This is the, these are the four here. These are the four lines which I have added Ch call child method console.log you can see i am locking here this particular thing and then child property two i am making as empty this is what i am doing in this particular call child method and i also you can see like i had made uh, in the last video these two properties public by using add the rate api before that the same way i am making this method as public by using add the rate api before that before this particular method so that is, that is how we can make a method as well public. Now, as this method is publicly available, so that's why I am able to call it from the parent component. Let me show you that. Here in the parent component JS, there is a method I have defined empty child property. A very simple method. What it is doing in this, sim in this method, there is a single line return. What exactly this single line? This dot template dot query selector then in the bracket c dash child dash component dot the ch call child method you can see call child method so this is basically calling the child method how it is so able to call it is same as it is able to access the child properties by using the dot notation in the in the this till this part from this to the bracket closing bracket we are first of all querying the child component, right, which we have in the parent component HTML, child component tag we are querying. This is the child component tag. And then we are using dot notation to call the child method, right? So this is the major line or the main line, which is responsible for calling the uh, child method, child component method from the parent component, right? Now, from where now to just to understand the rest of the functionality, this empty child property is getting called on the click of button, which button, which I have added here, you can see in the parent component, I have added lightning button button. And uh, this button is on click of this button, this method empty child property will get. called, And that will ultimately 
this empty child property is ultimately calling call child method and this call child method defined in the child component is doing the rest of the part making the child property to empty consoling is also taking place here let's see again the functionality so here you can see i'll be writing something here i'll empty the console i'll write here hello again final and i'll click on set value you can see uh, hello final is getting displayed over here you can see hello final and when i'll click on this call child method this is this is the button in the parent component which is going to call the parent method and that parent method is going to call the child method so i'm going to click on this call child method and this is calling uh, this is consoling the call child method uh like uh, is consoling in the console box and you can see the text also got empty like removed from the ui because child property to got uh became empty string so that's that's what it is happening like and that's how we can call child component method from parent component i hope you understood this whole concept of calling the child method from the parent component so that's all you need to know about how to call and child component method from the parent component hope you understood the concept and found this video insightful if you did then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to sales for sales channel for more such content